We cute, but we dumb. <laughs> Hey, it's Sue and Megan in the restricted section. And today uh, we're bringing our TBR for the spooky reading challenge. Yes, um, and this is something we are co-hosting with Becky over at Becky Bookworm. So yes. we'll link uh, her channel and her like announcement and TBR video below. Go check her out. Definitely. Um, and we're gonna be drinking this Neapolitan dynamite beer. Yes, yeah, yeah. from Stone Brewing. And it is an imperial stout brewed with chocolate, vanilla, strawberries, and coffee. Sounds, Sounds really delicious. Delicious. There's a lot going on, so hopefully yes. it all works. Cheers. Cheers. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Um, I don't really taste strawberry at all. Uh -uh, I don't either, but it is tasty. It is pretty delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sweet, of course. Right. And it's definitely, it's an imperial, but it's not a like super strong imperial. It's eight, yeah, like five percent ABV. Yeah. So that's not bad. Mm -hmm. So this challenge is from October 23rd to October 28th. Um, and there are three challenges because we try to make it a pretty realistic. Yeah. I'm, I'm more, you yeah. know, fun, easy laid back kinda. not too much pressure to read like a shitload of books in one week <laughs> yes because because we all got jobs yeah or most of us do i assume i will go to school think. or whatever other things that you do <laughs> so yeah yes it's hard to read seven books in a week all right so uh the first challenge is to read a book about a haunting yes and i think we're both going to read the same book for this challenge yes. we both decided to read the haunting of hill house by Shirley Jackson. Yes, yeah, so we um, both read We Have Always Lived in the Castle and liked it. So yeah. so we thought we'd give uh, her another go. This is about uh, four people who go to this uh, house known as Hill House and um, it says they begin to cope with chilling, even horrifying occurrences beyond their control or understanding. Mm. So, and it says for for Hill House is gathering its powers, and soon it will choose one of them to make its own. Yikes. So it sounds really creepy. I'm all about it. So um, I do it. So the second challenge is to read a book about a monster. And for that one, I'm going to read Breathers by S.G. Brown, because it's about zombies, and I would say that they are pretty, zombies are pretty monstrous. Yeah. But this is a, a zombie comedy, so. That sounds fun. A zombie. Like a speck on your nose. Thank you. It. Thank you. A zomedy. A zomedy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing I just made up. For my monster book, I chose Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. And uh, I'm. you guys have probably heard of this one because it's made the rounds on BookTube. But it's where you can't look outside or there's something that will like make you go insane and die, I guess. Um, but Megan read this a couple months ago, yes. and she told me, because I was not 100% clear on whether this was a monster or not, because I don't know what the thing is, um, and she told me she, that she thought it would count. I think it would count. So, I'm counting it as a book about a monster. And I've heard good things about it, so I'm excited to read it. Alright, and the last challenge is to read a classic horror novel. Yes. And I chose, I think I would consider this a classic, um, and that's Rosemary's Baby I would say by that's Ira Levin. Um, the movie, at least, is a classic as well. Um, I, haven't, I don't know if I've seen the movie. I haven't. I, haven't I can't remember. It. I feel like maybe I have, but I don't really remember. But I honestly don't really know that much about this. It says it's a ghost story. Hmm. So I've also heard very good things about this though. I got recommended this a lot last year around Halloween time. Mm -hmm. like, tons of people were like, you should read Rosemary's Baby. So I found it at a library sale. Nice. Can't beat a good library yeah. sale. Speaking of which, there's one next weekend or the weekend after. I can't remember when that is, but it's like the 18th. Um, Lord knows I need more books. I always no. need more books. Always, always. <laughs> Um, I'm going to read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, uh, because this is a classic, and I can't remember if I've read it or not. 
I thought I had, but then when you were reading it, you were saying some stuff, and I was like, maybe I haven't read that. Because <laughs> I don't remember that. So, I don't know. I'm going to read it. I liked it. I read it last year, and I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good. It's one of those that, like, the more you think about it, the more you like it. I think. Nice. I like books like that. Yeah. Um, so that's our TBR. Yes, I'm very excited about this. Yeah. Um, and I chose three pretty short books, which wasn't really intentional, but I think that's a good, good choice on my part. <laughs> I think that's a smart choice. Yeah. Yeah, I think that this Breather's book might be the longest one I chose, and it's only like 300 pages. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think we can make this happen. I think so. We can I'm, knock it out. I'm, uh, cautiously optimistic because <laughs> I haven't been doing so great with actually following through on my PBRs lately. Same. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see what happens. What I'm going to swear. <laughs> All right. Um, this beer, yeah. I mean, it's nothing special, honestly, I don't think. No, it's really not anything to write home about, but, but it is good. Yeah, it's like, tasty. it tastes good, but yeah. I feel like I've had something that tastes pretty much exactly like this before. Yeah, it's you know? not, yeah, it's not anything fabulous. Yeah, so, eh, meh. Um, yeah, but let us know if you're participating, you know, let us know your TBR if you haven't already. A lot of people mm -hmm. left us their TBRs in our last uh, announcement video. Let us know what you're reading, or yes. if you've read any of these ones that we chose. What did you think of them? Uh, let us know what you thought, but yes, don't yes. spoil us. No, don't give spoilers. Do not. No spoilers. Um, or we'll cast a spell on you. Maybe we should also uh, mention that uh, we're dumbasses <laughs> so, and uh, thought that the 15th was the second Sunday in October. We have so learned. <laughs> yeah, if you were waiting for our live show on the 7th, we apologize because... That's not going to happen. Yeah, that, that didn't happen no. because... Uh, Neither of us have read the book yet. Nope. And also, we just didn't really think about the fact that the first yeah, Sunday, the first Sunday was, was the, first. the first. So yeah, yeah. sorry, we're idiots. We dumb. We hope that nobody was like waiting. <laughs> yeah, but we will do it on the fifteenth. We promise. Yes, we at promise. six p.m. Central Standard Central Time. Central Standard Time. So we hope you can tune in on that day. <laughs> we hope so because. <laughs> It will be a good time. Yes. A good time will be had by all. Yes. So that's going to be it for us today. If you are not already subscribed to us, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. And you can find links below to our other social media. Yes. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I mean, bye-bye. Bye. My witch's time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>